What is going on, YouTube? PPS here, YouTube Play of the Day. We got two spots for you guys tonight. And as always, we're ready to roll. Uh, coming off a winner, huge night last night. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but uh, Mariners, first five under four and a half. Three base runners in the first inning for the Mariners. Awesome, awesome, awesome um, to see them only score one run and nobody else scored the rest of the first five. Tyler Anderson. Little eight eight Ks, bro. Really, we're gonna K eight times with Tyler Anderson pushing eighty three. Damn, Carrasco blown up. Tarek Skubal is a goat, man, dude. It's so good. So, uh, obviously, feel great about that. And uh, moves us up to 49, 37, 8 point six one units on the slate on the year um, on our YouTube play of the day. Hoping we get win number fifty here today. I will have a mini long shot. Uh, you're just gonna have to bear with me on me building it out. Um, just because uh, working on that right now. First play, only play that I'm going to have today is going to be Jose Soriano, 5Ks with Paul Skeens, 7Ks. Um, I can't play a Skeens regular strikeout line anymore. Man. It gets juiced up way too much. Everybody's just hammering it. I'll take, always buy down one because it's going to most likely end up one under because the book's got to make their money too. So I'm going to roll the Skeens at seven. Skeens is obviously facing off um, against – the St. Louis Cardinals, who actually haven't been terrible against righties on the road so far this year. 108 WRC+. Plus. My biggest thing is you, know, you look at these guys and it's it's, it's a tough spot because 24% um, um, K rate. Skeens has obviously got all the hype in the world behind him there. Um, he's been phenomenal at home. He's been phenomenal everywhere. 35% K rate so far this year. Um, at home, um, he's given up five bombs in 35 innings. That's really... The only thing you can say, other than that, what 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 is how are you scoring runs on this dude? This dude's got a 32% K rate to lefties, 38 to righties. Um at home, he's got a 29% K rate. On the road, he's got a 43% K rate. I know he's at home here. Obviously, a, a better park. I mean, this is a nice park upgrade here. So um, I really like schemes um today. Obviously, I'm sure that's not a, a surprise. Um I just think he's completely wipe out first two times through the order where it's like really tough for me to want to um, or really for us to see him, him struggle, right? He's got a 3.15 XFIP at home. Um, at home against righties is a 1.69 XFIP. I don't think there's enough lefty power in this lineup outside of Burleson and maybe Gorman that I'm worried about. Those two guys, and those guys have a very high strikeout rate. Uh, you're going to get Goldschmidt. You're going to get Arenado in the middle there. I think those are strikeouts. Mason Wynn, strikeout, righty. Um, he's just been so dominant against righties that your lefties just have to make him pay. And uh, I don't trust these lefties to make him pay. 38% K rate, like I said, on the year against right-handed batting. 1.6 XFIP is phenomenal. So we're almost getting seven strikeouts. You go over to Jose Soriano. I know this one's a tough one. This one's a tough one, and I, I get it. Um, it's just how, how do you not back the Mariners to just continue to strike out at an alarming clip? They're right now striking out at a 30% strikeout clip. Guys, the number two team is Cincinnati, 25.6. That's how bad these guys are. This is a really tough lineup. It's brutal. Um, Julio Rodriguez still might not be in there. J.P. Crawford out. You're replacing these guys with like Victor Robles. Like Luke Rayleigh, really? I, I am not worried about this lineup in, in the slightest. My thing is, is Soriano's been pitching to more contact, but Soriano's still going to run it up to 100. He's still going to have the velo. Still got a wipeout slider. I, I don't see a way that he makes it through this game and that Vegas is giving him a, a seven game total here. So if you're going to give me a seven game total, obviously you expect Soriano to do well. Um, ERA 371. I mean, he's only, I know he's only got a 20% carry, but man, he's got pitches to swing and miss, right? Knuckle curves at a 40% splitter against almost all lefties, specifically 32%, slider 48%. I think we're going to see it here. Obviously, he's moved more towards the sinker versus um, the four seamer because obviously he was walking a ton of dudes, but sinker still running 98, four seamer 99. I don't like guys who primarily feature sinkers um, for strikeouts, but I think the I think Seattle has transcended my logic with how bad this team is at swinging and making contact with baseball. So sign me up for Soriano five strikeouts, Skeen seven. Um, I am going to 
pull this up because I just showed you guys my screen, um, obviously, before. Um, but I have one long shot that I do want to play. Um, obviously, remember, guys, when I talk about a long shot here, it's very, very low. I'm going to be playing both um, lines um, separately. I'm going to be playing the regular um, line in there as well. So just a heads up because I know everybody wants to just play the, the big boys and hammer these things. But I'm not a long shot guy. I, I, got, I did very well last night. Um, in terms of DFS, but all my DFS stuff are all the people I play in my VIP group. I just took those guys and put them into the lineup and uh, felt it, felt uh, felt good about it. So I'm going to be rolling Bobby Witt, who obviously is the hottest hitter on the planet, and Devers, two RBI parlay. Um, that is plus 1662. Obviously a big boy number there. Um, we'd like to see that. And again, guys, I'm going to probably be playing this for a quarter unit, um, about the same I played Xander at. I'm going to be playing this for a quarter unit. I'm also going to be playing singles um, for their RBIs. I'll probably play the two RBIs separately as well. So just know that I'm not just playing these um, by themselves um, with just the parlay. So obviously Bobby Witt gets Jordan Montgomery. I have been a fade Gunry fan all year and have made very good money doing it. I'm going, not going to get in the way of here. Um, I understand people are going to probably walk him, but okay, let's let's face Sal Perez, who just hit a bomb last night. Let's face Vinny Pasquantino. I wouldn't mind them moving Bobby to the number one spot, bro, because you see Michael Garcia in the eight hole. That boy's getting on base two, three times a game out of the eight hole. He sucks in the leadoff spot, but he's great out of the eight. Um, I mean, Kyle Isbell last night getting on base almost every time. He's had a ton of guys on base. Devers in course, facing high block. Um, then you had an op, out props up there. So I'm assuming bullpen game, or at least they're going to try and roll this dude out there for a while. Um, I'm not worried about that as much because they just use every single bullpen arm they have. I think we see some trash cans, um, an 11 total Cooper Criswell on the other side. I think this is gonna be a fun high scoring game again. Um, and I'm very excited to, to want to back that again. So two plays schemes. This is obviously the full play, uh, skiing seven K Soriano five. And then we're going to roll Bobby Witt and Devers. Plus 1662 for our double long shot there. I'll be announcing giveaway winners. I know people are going to ask me about that from Twitter. Um, I will be doing that tomorrow live on Pass the Prop. Obviously, I had a pretty good night last night. Um, just rolled over. I withdrew quite a bit for my golf winnings. Um, and I played what I had left into a baseball lineup. And we just said, screw it. We're going to go with it. And uh, shout out Bobby Witt. Made me money last night. Bryce Miller was awesome last night. It was, uh, it was a great night, and uh, these last two days have been pretty crazy. So thank you guys for all the support. Hit that like button on the channel if you could, um, and hopefully we'll be able to keep winning with you guys. So thank you guys, and uh, best of luck today on this thing or Tuesday.